So in the previous videos, I have demonstrated how do you set up the web servers and how do we connect to a managed service created with RDS, that is the managed database, relational database, MySQL. Now, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how do we make this setup high available and accessible from outside using a load balancer so that we have a load balancing and we use auto scaling group that is ASG to define the scale and it has twofold purpose auto scaling group that is it provides you high availability so that even if your server goes down the auto scaling group will provide you high availabilities and automatically launch the new servers for you that's one and it also gives you the ability to scale so that when you have more traffic coming into your services, you can go ahead and launch more servers on demand, on the fly, dynamically that is. And that's what auto scaling configurations allow you to do along with load balancers. So the first thing that I would show you is by creating a load balancer here. How do I do that? Again, it's all a managed environment. So I have to just, uh, you know, click a few buttons and it should auto all be set up for us here. So on this AWS console, the EC2 dashboard is where I am. And from here, I click on load balancers. And I would create a, uh, click on create load balancers where I have two or three options here. Three options because I have some older classic account. I have chosen the network load balancer here, the second option. And I provide the name that is WP provide the listener configuration. Listener configuration is a load balancer configuration. So load balancer listens on a port and then forwards it to the backend servers in a specific group of servers called as target group here. And it, I have also chosen which availability zones, which data centers I want to host my infrastructure in and load balance it across. So I would, have, I would have to create a new target group. Target group is where the load balancer will send the targeted traffic to. And I would create a new target group and see that um, uh, any server which belongs to this group, I'm going to send the traffic to port 80. So the instances or the web servers that you create should be running on port 80. I already have one which I have added to this load balancer just for the testing for now. Later on, I want this capacity, the server's instances to be managed by an auto scaling group, which will automatically create the servers and scale them, scale them out, scale them in based on the traffic. So here I have the load balancer set up. The next configuration is defining the auto scaling groups. This is the one as, I as the description says, is going to maintain my application, create instances, scale them, as and when needed. And the configuration for that is what I would have to define here. So I would have to begin by defining the launch templates. There are two options. I'm gonna pick launch templates out of that. And what is a launch template? Launch template is exactly or almost similar to launching an instance that I've shown you earlier, but you just create a configuration and keep it. And that configuration would involve, as you might have guessed, uh, the images, and um, the size of the instance and so on. So I've just I'm just describing the launch configuration template here. And this is where I begin picking up my AMI or the image. This time I'm going to pick a community image for WordPress from Bitnami here. Uh, they create really good images, so I can trust this particular image here. And I'm going to choose this image and also provide the instance type that is going to be T2 micro, but I've already spoken about the type of instances, which, you know, depending on your requirement or your workload, you would pick one. I've also chosen the key pair so that I can connect to these instances or the servers. Security group, obviously, because that's the firewall definition for my web servers. I would have to attach at least one firewall to my web server or to any instance that I create. And then I'm going to define a couple of tags just to identify these instances, who has created those, which environment this belong to and so on. And then I would just go ahead and create this launch template. And now that I have this launch template, I'm going to go back to the auto scaling configuration ASG or 
auto scaling group configuration. So I go back to the same configuration, create auto scaling groups, choose the la launch template that I have just created using the checkbox here and click on the next step and it shows me some warning. This is about some default VPC. You don't have to bother about it at this point of time. Um, and I'm going to provide the group name here. Choose which template version I want to use because you can create multiple versions of the templates. I'm going to pick the latest. So whichever is the latest, it's going to pick that. And this is where I define the size of my group. So how many instances I want the minimum. So it will always maintain the minimum availability, which I'm going to demonstrate in the next video, how this works. Select a couple of subnet groups, which also mean I am, want to deploy these across the data centers in one region for high availability. And I want to ensure that the load balancer sends the traffic to these instances so that this gets added to the target group automatically. So I'm going to enable the checkbox about receiving traffic from the load balancer and define the target groups. Because if I have my instances available in the target group, the load balancer has already been configured to talk to them. This is where I define whether I just want high uh, you know, availability, this auto scaling group for availability, or I also want scaling in addition to that. I'm going to pick auto scaling so that I can dynamically increase or decrease the capacity by launching or removing the instances based on certain metric. The metric that I'm going to choose here, which is the default, which is average CPU utilization across my servers, which is 60. That's the number it is going to try and maintain. So if it goes beyond 60, it is going to launch new ones. When the traffic comes down when the CPU utilization comes down, it would reduce the capacity and bring it to the minimum available and minimum required based on the capacity and the minimum configuration that I have chosen here. The min is two, max is eight. The current number of instances, if I reload after a few minutes is two. So it has already launched two instances. And that's the configuration I'm exploring right here. I can see the activity history. Now, these are the instances that were automatically launched by the auto scaling group. And it also has the instance uh, being available. So I see those instances being healthy. That's the health check. I do see some monitoring data. So I should see this being updated as I start using this infrastructure notification tags and a few other configurations available here. And then if I go back and look at the instances from AWS console, the EC2 console, I see can see the target groups. Again, target groups are related to load balancer. So this shows me that these two instances have been added to my load balancer and are healthy. I can also use the load balancer URL now and load it in the browser, which should show me my WordPress site. Looks good. And this is already being load balanced across the available instances that I have. Finally, I could go and look at the instances and I do see two instances being created by the auto scaling group. And Auto scaling group is not only monitoring these instances, but also scaling it. And I'm going to show you how the availability works in the next video.